let me make this larger. So last time we were having uh, audio issues, so I didn't get to deploy it. Uh, so right now what I'm going to do is just do an AZ group create, create a new research group. I'm going to call this, like, I don't know, BNET demo to research group. I don't know. Uh, location East US 2. And uh, this bicep template is the same one from the GitHub repository that we, we shared last time. Nothing has changed there. Uh, so now we just do AZ deployment. And then we provide VNet. What did I call this? VNet. VNet 2. VNet demo 2 research group. Is that what I called it? it? Yeah, I think so. Oh my goodness. That might be the same name. Hold on. You know what? Let's do this. Let me clear this out. Let's create one that's not something that I had already created because I was running into issues with like naming things. And like, this is something Liam brought up. He's like, why don't you try changing the name? I was like, okay, that makes, I don't know why it works, but it works. Uh, we'll do create dash G. We'll do, all right, I don't know, reactor demo unit research group. And then location East US2. I'm going to copy this because if not, oh, I forgot the R here. If not, I'm going to forget what it's called. Reactor demo. All right, copy this. And then we'll run that. And then we'll clear this and then we'll do, we'll do oh, AZ, I think it's AZ deployment now. Uh, no, come on. AZ, AZ deployment, create, fantastic. And then I'll just paste in the right value for the research group and then we'll run that. Uh, I'm providing the parameters for this deployment in this file that's called Azure deploy.parameters.json. So that's why it's just going to run. It's not going to ask me anything. Uh, I have to bring up my portal, though. So one second. Let's go back here because I don't know what. I, I don't want to show anything I'm not supposed to. Uh, but here, let's go open this here. And then we'll go back here. Fantastic. Uh, we called it, what do we call it? Like reactor, reactor demo or something? Yeah, reactor demo VNet right here. So everything is going to start to deploy here once it is finished. Uh, it's still running. Oh, come on. See, we ran into naming thing. Another one. Uh, it could have been, you know what it, what it is? Let's do VM. Can we put dashes in VM names? Do yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. if we do this, it should be fine, right? All right. We'll try this once more. If not, we'll just if not it's all good. No, it's all good because we do have infrastructure deployed. Um, we, I just want, really wanted to show you the in actual action and, and live easy deployment oh come on i keep hitting tab when i'm supposed to hit the up arrow easy deployment up and then we'll do this paste this fantastic yeah well, what's weird is, is it'll like load everything here uh and then it fails for some reason but okay we'll try this now did I save it? Is he demo? Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, where is oh, where is the Azure deploy parameter file from? It's in here, so it's in our local. So this is the same directory that everything is in, uh, and it's right here. There are there's like some there might be some values in there that I don't want to show. Um, so it's yeah, not yeah, showing it, okay. but it's <laughs> it's there, um, and that's usually how you would provide your parameters. Um, sometimes you have to provide them via the command line or something like that. Um, but yeah, we also have key, key vault as well. So you can you can use key rotation, uh, obviously in Azure, right? So you can store them up there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and provide the like the URI yeah. of the key, the key. Uh, so let me go here, refresh this one. We call the reactor demo units. I have to clean up my resource groups today. Okay, I think it's going to work this time because it's not failing anything. Uh, go here, go here. Perfect, there we go. No errors. And then if we go refresh, we see we have everything here. We have our demo VM1, VM2, and subnets, subnets, uh, the NICs. And there we go.